Thanks for joining us now at three. I'm Nicole Versansky. Seven people were also injured when the Chase Bank building exploded yesterday. Brittany, we're joining us live in Youngstown with the breaking developments, Brittany. Nicole, we now know the name of the person who was killed in yesterday's explosion here at the Chase Bank in Youngstown. The medical examiner identifying him as 27-year-old Akil Drake. We know he was a Chase Bank employee, and first responders found his body in the basement of the building. Fire Chief Barry Finley said in a press conference on Wednesday that his department was not going to rest until they found every victim. There were reports that Drake was working in the building just before the explosion. Chief Finley says after working through the night, they found Drake's body just after 12:30 a.m. Wednesday morning. With respect, we got him. We got him out because we were not going to leave until we found him. Right. We were going to be there as long as it took, and we found him. Uh, for his, you know, so his family can have closure. There were reports that there was another woman missing in the explosion. However, the chief says she was later located in the emergency room. For an unknown reason, she registered herself under a different name. This is why first responders could not find her. And we now know that there were eight total victims in this explosion. Three were treated at the hospital and released. Another three are still at the hospital, but in stable condition. There is one person, though, who is in intensive surgical care. And coming up at four, I will bring you what first responders are focusing their efforts on today. Live in Youngstown, Brittany Weir, 19 News.